Hey, you find me a heart-shaped diamond? No, no, I didn't find a diamond. Hanging up? No, no, wait, 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 wait. I found something else you need to take a look at. It's... It's some kind of cave drawing. Look, all I heard was, I don't find a diamond, I don't know where to go, I'm not from here. Listen, buddy, I love you, but... Fans know Michael D. Cohen from the hit shows Henry Danger and now the spinoff Danger Force. But outside of his work on the small screen, Cohen is passionate about his work on behalf of GLAAD and the trans community, and he's here to talk about it all for us. And I just want to welcome you, uh, <laughs> you know, you. My, my kids that are now teenagers, we watched the show Henry Danger as a family, and I have to say... I never knew that you were trans, and I think it's so important that you've now come out to help other young people know that it's okay and that you are actually a role model for a lot of these young people. Well, thank you. I love that you and your family watched the show. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like it was important for me to share my trans experience, you know, mm -hmm. that this is an experience that I've been through and that I continue to be through in this world, given especially what's going on right now. Um, and I didn't want to hold my voice back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it's not necessarily relevant to my role, obviously, on, on Henry Danger yeah. and Danger Voice. And they gave you the most flattering <laughs> clip possible uh, of showing me and my character. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, there's times when it's relevant and there's times when it's not. And it's very relevant right now with what's going on. Exactly, exactly. And I know it's been a couple years ago, but you did the, uh, the challenges yes. for the trans acting challenges. And now you have a studio. Why did you feel it was so important to reach out to young people like this? I just know that when I was a kid, what mm -hmm. I went through, and uh, it's so important for kids to see that they can they can pursue whatever they want in their life as a profession and mm -hmm. and the, their dreams can be realized and i didn't know that and i just went on faith and luckily i, I was lucky you know mm -hmm. I, and i had certain resources um, but not all the kids do and i wanted them to see that they have support they had a network behind them they had people behind them that are saying yes mm -hmm. you know pursue your dreams and do you feel like these kids didn't get the same opportunities in a traditional studio would you say, as opposed to what you're doing? Absolutely. They needed to be able to be who they are. And mm -hmm. I think a traditional acting studio wouldn't allow them to have that kind of freedom um, or understanding. Uh, so we offered them this challenge, and then they, they rose to the occasion. The, the quality of the actors was astounding. Mm -hmm. Astounding. So, you know, and in my studio that I, you know, now I teach everybody, you yes. know, whether or not you're of trans experience or not, um, you're welcome in my studio. And, and you know, we, we, we learn the, the things, the skills that we need in order to realize our dreams and to be all of who we are. And that's really what it's about. Mm -hmm. And for you, what it's also about is not just acting. You were behind the scenes for a lot of this. Directing, is that yes, right? Yeah. What, five episodes? Yes, yes. I directed five episodes on Danger Force so far. Yeah. And hopefully we'll come back for another season. Who knows? But I'm now I've got other projects that I'm slated to direct, hopefully in the mm -hmm. near future. And, and I've got a couple of series that I'm developing, too. So... I'm really excited about that. Yeah, and, and which do you prefer? In front of the camera or behind? Oh my gosh, you know, I love directing mm -hmm. and I love acting and I don't think I could just do one or the other. Yeah, yeah, well, and the, and the character the Ishwaz that you play, I mean, it's, it just seems like it would be so fun and the fact that now you get to continue it on another series is just really it's a fun, fun. It's a fun character and, and there's a lot in the show for adults too, so it becomes this mm -hmm. family watching experience that I, I love hearing about families that talk about that. It's, yeah. It's great. It, great. It, it was a lot of fun for us. I'm, I'm sad that now that my boys have gotten older, we don't watch a lot of the shows together anymore. Well, that anymore, is no but excuse. Was, I'm sorry. I, we've yeah, got yeah, to gotta pick gotta it up. To it. Yep. We mm -hmm. definitely do. Absolutely. You know, as they get older, you don't realize that shows have had <laughs> spinoffs and, and it's still a lot of fun. So it's great to have you here. We appreciate all that you're doing Thank for you. all of the young people that are interested in the Thank industry. You. And I'd, I'd love to add something, mm -hmm. which is that, you know, with a lot of the laws that are happening right now, they're really based in misinformation. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important for people to do some research before they pass judgment. Um, a lot of the kids are not exposed to anything that is irreversible. There's no surgeries. You know, there's hormones don't happen until later. Everything is re re everything is reversible. Um, and that never needs to be reversed. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. these are kids. I knew I knew who I was when I was little. You probably knew you were a girl when you were very, very young. Mm -hmm. Just because someone's gender doesn't align with their anatomy doesn't mean they don't know who they are. Exactly. They do. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Absolutely. Yes. And of course, you can find more information about the Henry Danger series and Michael D. Cohen by going to our website, kcomnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.